Hello, in today's video, we will learn about the various types of interactions in biotic community. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding about mutualism, commensalism, proto-cooperation, parasitism, predation, competition, amensalism, and mimicry. Let us start by understanding the term biotic community. Biotic community or biosynosis is an association of a number of interrelated populations of different species in a common environment. The term biosynosis was coined by Carl Mobius in 1877. Based on the concept of biosynosis, ecological communities can be named as zooninosis for the faunal community, phytosynosis for the floral community, and microbiosynosis for the microbial community. Let us look into the interactions in biotic community. Competition between members of the same species is called intraspecific competition. When individuals of different species compete for the same resources in an ecosystem, then it is called interspecific competition. It can be divided into three basic types. First, positive interaction or beneficial interaction in which one or both the interacting species are benefited but neither is harmed. Example, commensalism, mutualism. Negative interaction or antagonistic interaction in which one species is harmed. Example, parasitism, amensalism. Neutral or central interaction in which Neither species is benefited nor harmed. Example, shrew, rat, rabbit all live together in a grassland without affecting one another. We shall deal with each one of them separately citing various examples. Mutualism, it is a positive interspecific interaction between individuals of different species that results in positive effects that is each species has a net benefit example lichen consists of an alga and a fungus living together the photosynthetic alga forms simple carbohydrates that when excreted are absorbed by the fungus. Fungus contributes by protecting the alga and provides water and minerals to it. Second example is ruminant and bacteria association. Bacteria get nutrients and shelter by living in the stomach of ruminants, ruminants are herbivorous mammals. Bacteria release enzyme cellulase which facilitates the digestion of cellulose for the ruminants. Next example is mycorrhiza. It is an association of a fungus with the roots of higher plants. The fungus absorbs water and minerals from the soil and make it available to the plant. 
the carbohydrates or organic molecules synthesized by the plants are absorbed by the fungus by the way if you are getting some value out of this video please like and share the video so that all of us can learn unlearn and relearn together also please consider subscribing the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of all the upcoming videos next is commensalism it is interspecific positive interaction between two organisms in which one benefits called commensal and the other derive neither benefit nor harm and is known as the host example epiphytes orchid growing as epiphytes on trees get support but do not harm the trees barnacles live attached to whale's body using it only as space and no harm is done to the whale another example the sucker fish attaches to the under surface of shark with the help of its modified dorsal fin which acts as sucker and gets a free ride it detaches itself to gather the pieces of food left over by the shark next is proto cooperation it is an association of two species where both are benefited by the presence of the other but can survive independently without any association that is the interaction is not obligatory for survival it is interspecific positive interaction example hermit crabs and sea animals live in harmony together hermit crab uses a snail's shell as a portable home the sea anemone is found attached to the shell and is carried from place to place by the moving crab and is also benefited as there is more chance of getting food the sea anemone in turn protects the crab some birds sit on the cattle and feed on the parasites like lice and ticks present on the cattle's body the bird gets food and the cattle gets rid of the parasites both are benefited but can also survive independently another example is the association of crocodile and bird when the mouth of the crocodile is open the bird enters it and feeds on the parasitic leeches so the bird gets food while the crocodile gets relieved of the blood sucking parasite both can live well separately too next we come to parasitism it is a type of antagonistic interspecific interaction in which one benefits at the expense of the other the smaller one is called the parasite it derives food and takes shelter in or on the body of the larger partner called host different types of parasites are one endoparasites the parasite lives in the body of the host example entamoeba histolytica a protozoan lives in the human intestine and causes amoebic dysentery second 
two parasites. The parasite lives on the body of the host. Example, leech sucks blood of cattle as well as blood of man. Third, hyperparasite. A parasite living on another parasite. Example, plasmodium is a hyperparasite of female anopheles mosquito which is an intermittent parasite of human. Plasmodium causes malaria in human beings. Fourth, brood parasitism or social parasitism in which one species is exploited by another species for some benefit. Example, the cuckoo bird lays its eggs in the nest of a crow. The crow acts as a babysitter as it raises the young as its own. Next is predation. It is a biological, antagonistic, interspecific interaction in which one organism, the predator, kills and eats another organism, its prey. Predator population adversely affects the survival of the prey population. Biological control of weeds and pests is based on predator-prey relationship. Example, control of Opuntia in Australia is done with the help of insect Cactoblastis. In Mauritius, spread of red locust is controlled by introducing minor bird from India. Larvicidal fish Gambusiae is used to control mosquito larvae. Another simple example is frog acts as prey for snake, snake for eagle. Next is competition. It is an antagonistic interaction in which two or more members of the same species or different species of same trophic level compete for common resources like food, water, space which are limited. There are two types of competition intraspecific competition and interspecific competition. The competition between individuals of the same species is intraspecific competition. It occurs when members of the same species compete for the same resource in an ecosystem. Interspecific competition may occur when individuals of two different species share the same resource in a particular area. Example, leopard and lion living in a forest feed on similar prey. Next is amensalism. It is an antagonistic interspecific interaction. It is an association between organisms of two different species in which one is inhibited or destroyed and the other is unaffected. The adversely affected species is called amensal and the affecting species is called inhibitor. Example. Penicillium notatum releases penicillin to inhibit the growth of a variety of bacteria. Next example, the roots of walnut tree produces a chemical called juglone, which is toxic to various plants like apple, tomato, etc. Fungus trichoderma inhibits the growth of fungus 
aspergillus. Next, we shall take up mimicry. It is an evolved resemblance between an organism and another object. It is a phenomenon in which a living organism modifies its form, structure, appearance, behavior and looks like another living organism or non-living object to escape from its predators. There are three types of mimicry. Protective mimicry, aggressive mimicry and conscious mimicry. Protective mimicry to escape from the predator a prey uses protective mimicry which is of two types concealing and warning type. In concealing type of protective mimicry the organism resembles the surrounding and cannot be easily detected by the predator. Example, the stick insects body and appendages are long, slender, resembling dry twigs and therefore easily mingle with the surrounding. Another example is leaf insects body which is flat and green like a leaf and cannot be easily detected by the predator. In warning type of protective mimicry, the mimic resembles a distasteful or poisonous organism. Example, the viceroy butterfly is very palatable. In order to escape from the predator, it mimics the inedible monarch butterfly in form and color. It is also known as Betisian mimicry. Another interesting example is the hog nose snake Heterodon. It is harmless, but in order to escape from its enemy, it flattens its head, produces hissing sound, and periodically strike, pretending to be very dangerous. Coming to aggressive mimicry, in order to escape or deceive the prey, the predator takes the form of an harmless species. It is of two types, concealing and alluring type. Concealing type, in this, the predator camouflages so that it remains unnoticed by the prey. Example, praying mantis. In alluring type, the predator resembles an object of interest to the prey. As a result, the prey gets attracted towards it. Example, a carnivorous spider resembles an orchid flower. A yellow spider sitting on a marigold flower remains invisible to insects and they easily fall a prey to it. Coming to conscious mimicry, certain individuals on sensing danger from predators become motionless and pretend to be dead. Example, tinibrinoid beetles become motionless and pretend to be dead when they sense danger. So let's sum up the different interactions we have learned today. Mutualism, both partners are mutually benefited and obligatory. Commensalism, one species benefits commensal, other is unaffected, the host. Proto-cooperation, both mutually benefited but not obligatory. Negative interaction where one species is harmed. Parasitism, one species benefits, other is harmed. Predation, one species benefits, other is harmed. Competition, 
harmful for both species, the adversely affected one is eliminated from the community. And finally, amensalism, one species is harmed, other remains unaffected. Having discussed the various types of interactions in the biotic community, I have some practice questions for you. Please share your answers in the comment section below. You can pause the video and write down the questions if you like. Thank you so much for your time and participation. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing the channel and press the bell icon to get instant notification of all the upcoming videos. Also, if you want to discuss any particular topic in biology, please mention that in the comment section below. I'll see you there. Goodbye. All the best.